So the theme of the talk is how your lifestyle, your health habits, determine the health of your body organ systems that allow for proper regulation of all these different chemical components that are in the blood and in the brain that either promote brain cell health or are toxic to brain cell health. The core concept is you need to build your brain reserve capacity. Brain reserve. So neural reserve capacity is the health of the hardware of your brain. The brain physical infrastructure, cognitive reserve capacity. Simply lifelong learning, lifelong thinking endows you with abilities that can serve you well in your later years. Whatever is challenging and you, you've acquired uh, high levels of general ability levels, the data indicates you will delay the onset of dementia even if you have Alzheimer's in your brain, you will tolerate those neuropathological changes much longer than the person who doesn't have that cognitive reserve capacity. Even the Alzheimer Association uh, on their website said these drugs do not slow the, de the decline in cognition. So they may benefit you, you may function better than you would otherwise, but it doesn't actually slow the rate of the decline because it's not getting at the underlying mechanism. The cost of dementia care now it surpasses the cost of both heart disease and cancer. And this is going to grow. The cost of Alzheimer's disease is going to break the banks. 90% of all people with Alzheimer's disease are age 75 and older. So you're talking how many? It's not far away. In eight years, us baby boomers are going to be hitting the age where Alzheimer's disease becomes high risk. So who ages well cognitively and who doesn't? Well, in this big study, there were four factors. Physical activity, if you were physically active, you had a decreased risk or a less cognitive decline with aging than people who were not physically active. Educational level, the more education you had, the decreased risk for cognitive decline. Interestingly, lung capacity. The more lung capacity you had, the less memory and cognitive decline you had as you aged. And then sense of self-efficacy, those people who had that um, can-do attitude, that where there's a will, there's a will. So the top eight is nutrition, exercise, sleep, stress control, toxin avoidance, accident prevention, cognitive stimulation, and social support. Nutrition, the Mediterranean diet, largely a plant-based diet, doesn't have to be exclusive, whole grains rather than processed, but you don't want cookies, cakes, <laughs> pies, donuts, cannoli, those things are toxic to the brain and body if you eat them in any ex excess amount. Don't be physically sed sedentary, be physically active, exercise, move it, work it. Don't cheat on sleep, get your beauty sleep, and that's both quantity and quality. Don't stress to excess, interrupt the stress response with the relaxation response. Chronic elevated stress response as opposed to the relaxation response will put, produce, I believe, metabolic excessive stress to the cells of your body and brain. And be philosophical about life. But being philosophical is like the serenity prayer. Change, have the courage to change the things you can, accept the things you can't, 
And my motto, my translation, I, I've had this lifelong, is I tell myself, do my best and don't worry about the rest.